This is a Steam Greenlight trailer for Dropout. It is a fairly unassuming, bog-standard, first-person horror game made with Unity on Steam. Uh, there's not enough of those. There really isn't enough of those. Uh, but what makes this one, at least this trailer, fairly remarkable comes up in a moment. Um, I actually didn't believe my ears when I heard it. There we go. I don't know if you recognise that music, but uh, it's not original, it, it's it's not uh, certainly not owned by the people who made Dropout. Uh, that is, of course, Promise uh, from Silent Hill 2. Uh, that, that, that was shocking to me. I actually had to um, check the rest of my computer to make sure that something wasn't playing. Um, so... Yeah. Now, I'm not against using licensed music. Uh, I'm, I'm all for copyright laws being lax. I actually use some video game music as backdrops to a couple of my uh, videos. You know, I often use something from Deadly Premonition or Dynasty Warriors. Um, on my Konami episode recently, I actually used a Silent Hill track um, as a reference, you know. Um, I think when you're actually putting it in a trailer for your horror game... <laughs> Uh, something tells me that uh, I I don't think that Konami et al. Uh, would be kind of cool with that. That would be like t uh, doing a trailer for an RPG that you've made in RPG Maker, because of course you did, and using, you know, uh, the Final Fantasy Crystal theme. <laughs> I, think, uh, I, I think a lot of fans and uh, 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 people in the game industry would take a little bit of umbrage with that. Uh, so that was just somewhat shocking. And what's more shocking is that in uh, in three pages of Greenlight comments on Steam, no one's cottoned onto it. No one worked that out. Um, that's, that's a truly remarkable thing. No one's like, oh, I think I've heard that music somewhere. Uh, I guess these are people that have never played Silent Hill. But, but there you go. Um... All of the screenshots you're seeing are all, uh, according to the, the comments, they did call this out, they're all stock Unity assets. This is all stock Unity stuff, which of course is getting more and more uh, of a thing now on Steam. Uh, that Predator Simulator I played yesterday, I was told uh, by the commenters that um, that entire city and everything in it was a stock Unity asset. Uh, there was no original design work whatsoever. Uh, so that's just going to become more and more of a thing. So here we have a trailer uh, made out of something that was just bought uh, with a soundtrack of something that was probably just downloaded uh, using a, a YouTube audio ripper or something like that because, well, that's, that's how I get my video game music uh, to use in videos. So, yeah. Good, good. Um... I wouldn't pay for it. The game, I mean. 